Alright folks, welcome back to Pushing the Potters, it's episode 14, it's our League Cup Final, the, the Capital One Cup Final, the Carabao Cup Final, whatever you want to call it, we could go back further, but I'm not going to. Um, it is episode 14, as I say, you can see on the screen there, there's, there's former Stoke heroes lifting the League Cup there, it's ever so proud, the last time Stoke won a meaningful competition, can we make the changes today? Let's have a look then. So if we're going to catch up on the, the score since you were last with us, that's done, because there haven't been any. Um, no games played at all. Okay. So this is the squad we're going to go within this, this League Cup final. And now first chance of perhaps domestic silverware. We did obviously have that Europa League final that we failed to win. Hopefully we can go one better, although it is against Jose Mourinho's Manchester United, so... No guarantees. Uh, but the new goal trip, he was to right back ahead of Walker Peters after his return from European suspension. Shawcross and Brooks continue in the middle with Tallis on the left side, Alan and Bula, Berardi, Lamar, Vlasic and Milik. The bench for the final is Walker Peters, Peters, Yedvai, Assasibar, Ayer, Sigurdsson and Dembele. Now, last episode, I did say that I was going to mention Gilfi Sigurdsson um, and what we plan to do with him. Uh, you may recall a couple of episodes ago, I said that we were definitely going to sell him and I saw no future at all for him. He's, he wasn't even, I didn't even think of him as a player in our squad. Times have changed. He's stopped moaning. You'll notice on that, that screen that he didn't actually have a wanted. He wasn't unhappy. His transfer status is is down rotation, but he's, he's not actually bothered about leaving. He's got no concerns at all. He's quite happy with it. He decided that Monaco weren't going to come in for a bid and withdrew any kind of request to leave. So that left me with a bit of a pickle, to be honest, because obviously we're paying him quite well. Our financial situation is still a big red box at the bottom left-hand corner. And our FFP projection is to, well, to be over the wages by £600,000 per week, I believe. No, nope, sorry, £60,000 a week. So I guess I would have solved that. And given that Mr. Lamar is playing better than him and sort of bought in to replace him, it seems difficult now for me to find a place for him. So maybe we might end up moving him on anyway. I mean, he's, well, obviously, I mean, he's 29, so he's not getting any younger. Lamar has the age gap on him now. He's probably going to be a better player all round. That said, he's a good player, so we're certainly going to make, try and make use of him. He starts on the bench today. An Autovich the man missing out. Or is he? Shall we? Shall we maybe a year and Assassin are they quite similar? Hmm, last minute alterations, just for a bit of alternative choice on the flanks. I think we are going to do that. We're going to, we're going to ruin AR's day. Minutes before the uh, team sheets go in, we take him out of the squad and swap him for an auto who's beaming. So let's give this a go then. That's our team today. I'm a little bit nervous. Not very often you get to a League Cup final. Well, well not as a Stoke fan anyway. So let's get, let's get going, shall we? Yep, David Hay on a fairly lengthy run. Obviously, if we get penalties, he'll save them all. Once again, it's not involved, so let's see. We're going to play on the counter system to start with at least, and if we have to change it up, we, we have to change it up. But realistically, if we go behind to Manchester United, we are probably going to struggle to get back into it. So let's hope we can do the job today. Let's get that match started then, if the game's going to play ball. Has the uh, teams come out then? Brilliant. Let's get started then. Let's get this game underway. Skip, come on. Come on, we have to play football. Okay, so popping out. Oh no, nothing. Nothing doing. So, League Cup final. Wembley Stadium. Fossey meant are they taking it seriously? Is Ander Herrera? Is Eric Dyer in the middle? Chris Smalling over towards the left hand side. Can we sneak the ball off him? Berardi can. Berardi has got the legs. Can he run the entire length of the pitch to. No, Marcus Rojo. And uh, you'll notice they have got Antoine Griezmann. And he zips past Shawcross. Crossed in and Herrera hits the post. We've got a reprieve. That would have been a disaster. A disaster start there, really, to get behind it. Ten minutes. Jack Butland will take this free kick. Launched up towards Milik, who wins the header. Berardi on the right side. Loses out to Paul Pogba. He sort of ran into uh, to trouble there. But Brooksy brings down the ball. Uh, Marcus Rojo seems to be everywhere. Pogba now. Still Griezmann on this left side. He's got the ability to take the game away from us as long as though they didn't have enough quality uh, in the rest of the tires. The teammate Theo. I have a cat called Theo. Hopefully that's not him. And Paul Pogba just decides to score from absolutely nowhere. I don't know who Theo is. 
Hernandez. Theo Hernandez. I don't know who that is. Uh, Pogba. I mean, there's not much you can do about that. And yeah, okay. So that's 1 0 to United. We'll, you'll notice we went to the attacking system immediately. This is a final. We may as well lose 5 0 as, as 1 0, as far as I'm concerned. It's been a, a, not not too much in the game, but we haven't created anything. So let's let's have a go at the players. Let's see if we can get them get them warmed up a little bit in here. Brings back echoes of the Mike Bassett half time team talk. I won't be doing that. Not one nil anyway. If it been three nil, I may well have done. No, it's a Vlasic is struggling out there. Maybe we need to get him off. We have got a Nortovic on the bench, thankfully. So that was a, that's a plus. So that's that's not him. That's him. Let's get Arnie out there. See if he can make the difference. Vlasic, sort of a little bit out of his depth, maybe. Maybe a couple more years away from from genuinely being able to affect this kind of game. I think if United do score a second, it really is game over. I mean, we've done well in the tackle. We just then don't seem to be able to use the ball particularly well. Here's Butland. He's passed back to him from Trippier. Try and build from the back. Let's go again. Trippier again. A little 1-2 as it was with, with Butland. Quite a gap in between the, the one and the two, though. More of a one, two. And, yeah, we've lost the ball again. Pogba lays it up forward to Martial. I think he's come on for Griezmann. Rashford's undone. The, uh, Griezmann's on the right side. Crosses. They're, they're queuing up. And that probably is game already. It's difficult to see us coming back from this. We're going to take Yal Allen off. We're going to move a bar in field. And we're going to bring Sigurdsson on. Because, quite frankly, that's as far as I'm concerned, that's sadly game over now. I've wasted a suit. It's got to be dry clean now. Wish I hadn't bothered. It's expensive. Anyway, Butland will pick up this uh, that cross. I thought Pogba was going to make it three. In which case, the Mike Bassett treatment really would be coming out. Here's an Autovich. A Sassavar. Spreads it out right to Berardi. Sigurdsson. I thought it was a terrible pass, but it turned out okay. You see how we're getting bogged down in midfield here. I'm not overly sure how to correct it as Sanotovic dallies and Pog Pogba's been the man today, but Mbula's done well there, showing him he can mix it just as well. Can Sigurdsson? No, he can't, but Berardi can. It's 2-1. You never know. We've got 21 minutes. Can we get back into it properly? I mean, we've broken that, that goal-scoring run, or rather non-goal-scoring run of De Gea. It's a good save, that, wasn't it? Jeez, how did he manage that? It's a bit unlucky to see it fall straight to the feet of Berardi, but we won't complain about that. We have the goal, and you never know. We may just be able to sneak an extra time, but I mean, we don't deserve it, do we? But you take your chances in uh, in cup finals, and uh, I'll just hope, really. Right, five minutes to go. I don't know. Time's evaporated. It's just gone, people. It's just time has gone. There's the seconds seconds remaining. Is this enough time? Fifty seconds. I have my doubt. It seems a bit long for a pointless highlight at the end. You never know. Milik tackled well by Smalling. That that really is it. And it's Griezmann. It's got to be now. It's got to be now. Who's there? Pogba, of course. Pogba. Who's everywhere? Poor Pogba. PP. Trippier. Thirty seconds. It's got to be launched. Milik needs to win that. He does not. Berardi. Plays it back to but right. Come on, this is it. We've got ten seconds to to get on De Gea's goal and shoot. Five, four seconds. Come on, boys, where are you going? Don't dally, die. Okay, well done, Man United. That's two finals that we've lost now. I was hoping that would be that was a bit unlucky, you know. Man United deserved it. Okay, well that that's that's just the way the. The cookie crumbles. There'll be no cup parade. Um, Vlasic injured. He picked up a damaged heel in that game, apparently. I didn't see it. Still, that's uh, that's entirely disappointing. You can see there, Manchester United lift the cup. And we paid out £22,000 after receiving 52... So, runners-up received 52000 Hmm... That pays half of Gilfie's wages, pretty much, for a year, for a week. So, where did we say we were coming back? We were going to do that second leg against Celtic. Um, the return of Celtic. Uh, I, as I said in the uh, the last episode, I fully expect us to be able to dismantle Celtic at home. The one thing about Celtic, though, is, well, they may lack uh, perhaps a premiership quality on the pitch. 
we know they will travel in their numbers because their support is most definitely definitely Premier League quality so we have to be prepared for a uh, full house and we've got to make sure that we're on top of our game it's vital that we we progress in that Champions League in my opinion to in our second season if we can become a Champions League quarter finalist and, and you never know if, if I mean let's have a look at these other first legs let's see how they went um, if Kiev can knock out Leverkusen I reckon we could take them you can see that Shakhtar really dismantled Real so if we can get maybe them that'd be uh, that'd be something to write out and as well Benfica of course we uh, finished above Benfica they beat PSG you'd say Copenhagen are probably out of it as are Club Bruges so we'll probably be the weakest side on paper left in it if we qualify which hopefully we will so yeah we've got a few games in between them but nothing nothing of any interest they're not going to be on Sky are they let's say that Watford game is on telly but we're going to come back for that Champions League game and hopefully we'll just uh, we'll still be in the top two or three in the Premier League and uh, I'll be able to give you some good updates and some good news hopefully that financial fair play bar is going to turn green without us having to do anything otherwise we'll have a little bit of an uphill struggle next season right here then I would like to thank you very, very much for watching it's an absolute pleasure as always do follow me it's at knock it wide on the Twitters and please do like the video if you've enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more thank you very very much for watching as I say I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.